Oh, Bonga John here. I am very happy, content with my current arrangement of keyboard controller via the complete S88 uh, from, from Native Instruments, SK. I can't remember the exact model, but um, what's wonderful about the Native Instruments plugins are, are many things, but uh, what I really love is this, this screen here. If you see in front of me on the keyboard, matches directly with the instrument that's on the screen in your software. So what's great is you can go to browser, right? Once you've pulled up a particular sound on the left-hand side here, and you can preview, preview sounds as you see them on both on the keyboard as well as on the screen and adjust parameters in real time as they adjust on the other screen. So I'm gonna go to this front, I'm gonna load that sound, right? That's loaded in. So, yes, I liked everything except for that last part, but nonetheless. So this is just one instrument known as Arcus. Arcus. It's called Bubbling Subs. I'm going to enter that now. Bubbling Subs. We have... over here I'm continuing to preview and what's wonderful about preview is that you're not actually fully loading the sound it's actually kind of a sample of the sound that plays immediately when you adjust this dial here you can't see too well from where you're at but nonetheless it's like it's arranged alphabetically unless you go here and then adjust things with this dial but you can go to bowed strings, and then only bowed strings are played. And this is all in one instrument, Arcus. It's called Beyond the Veil. Here we go. So, with that, there are millions, endless combinations. We can go to an entirely different situation with an entirely different situation, pardon. I'm going to speak directly into the microphone there. And so I have the complete 13. There's now a complete 14. There might be a complete 15 for all I know. I'm not really sure. But uh, I'm happy with the library that I have. I'm thinking about possibly upgrading so we're, now we're pulling up Cloud Supply, all right? We'll browse and take a little sample of each sound, which is so awesome to be able to do that. Some of them are just single notes for, for uh, previewing, or then you have a little tiny sample of a, you know, you can go with one shots, instruments based, instrument based, where you you know play chords or you know melody or harmony, however, uh, and then you have loops too, so that they can happen. Oh, what this? This is Bleacher. You know, it's an, it's an endless possibility. And you can also adjust all these parameters on here, too. Like if you load up bow, for instance. You know, crush. Controls delay. Boing, boing, boing. 
<laughs> you adjust rezzo, you know, you can do cut off. It really can be a performance instrument quite nicely um, if you have a, a laptop with native instruments on it, but no one really wants to see one performing with a laptop these days, or do they? Not really sure. Uh, so anyway, uh, so I'm going to other sounds, and then now we're going to, it's just endless, you know, it's just amazing presets, but you, do, you generally want to change your sound after you have, you generally want to change it. Well, make it your own, you know. Don't just settle for a preset and try to f fit the rest of the music around a preset. Try to adjust your sound to what you're trying to convey in your mind, heart, and soul. So, you know, it's like this dreams, for instance. So we have... very synthy sounds but I, I'm I'm a big fan of the organic you know of sounds that are uh, has a little distortion on it so that's why there was like a bit of noise there and then we have uh, evolved mutations so if I click that we have so I'm going to some entirely and now for something completely different <laughs> So I'll go to Vocalize uh, 2, and we're going to preview that. Hold on for a moment. Uh-oh. I'm going to go through some of these. You see I'm switching on the screen. also switches exactly at the same time with... La, 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 la. And so, thus, the sound actual plug-in loads. So now we have this. So. on soundtracks or something multi-billion dollar films however it can be uh, your own scratch film that you film in the backyard with some Mexican jumping beans in a, uh, sw a, a plastic swimming pool you know however you go about it you can create some wonderful things here so not necessarily not order so as you can see I'm going to did I or oh did I stutter more synth based but kind of based on voices. There you go. 
So I'm just kind of, you know, randomly showing you some of these plugins that are, you know, there's more. There's a plethora. There is a plethora of new ideas and plugins that have been released by Native Instruments. Uh, there's some pretty awesome ideas behind all of that. So in my, as far as I'm concerned, like Mallet Flux, for instance, which is kind of a loop based uh, instrument that you can you know, create. And then you can, as you can see, you have your sequence playing. cool to go instead of an even 8 or 16 you can make it odd well I'm digging this so so mallet flux is really cool. a nice plug in that works nicely so this just works great so let's create some interesting atmospheres reminds me of some of uh, that's incredible you know I'm not playing that though. that's why I tend to avoid loops with sequences in them because I think that's kind of I don't know cheating or something <laughs> I don't know I don't know maybe not so uh, we go here we go to browser we're gonna go back to instruments and we're gonna pull up some of the other sounds we have this one is kind of voice based uh this is called uh far i think it's far light and uh we're gonna pull it up and we're gonna browse through it this, this is one i've used in the song before here as far as adjusting it and whatnot so loaded it's just you know endless uh the grandeur is one of my favorites yeah, right. you've probably seen some of my piano videos as far as that, all that goes uh so you know i right hear they have the piano we can adjust other elements of the mix such as right here we can go amount of space reverb details of the size of the reverb smaller less reverb and then we can have uh, but yeah there's and there's all kinds of drums and you think why isn't Bongo John Speaking of the drum loops and whatnot, and you know, the thing is, I personally, I prefer tracking drums as a drummer uh, rather than relying on loops to create rhythms that someone else's ideas. Uh, one shots on an electronic kit, that's okay. But as far as loops and things, I'm just kind of, eh, 
you know, I can do that myself, you know, or create my own loops with that. So, so we have these other sounds in here. Uh, just, it's just endless stuff. It's just, it's great. You know, it's just unbelievable. You know, like vintage organs, for instance. Pull this up. So we're going to browse and... You know, he just has like... Uh, and uh, some of these work really well uh this does not have draw bars but it does have a kind of a feature of wheel and this going on to simulate the, the draw bars. Of course, a Nord or an actual Hammond B3 is preferable. But, you know, there's still some good ideas behind that. So I go here, I'm adjusting, I'm pulling something else up here. This is called, uh, uh, let's pull up uh, Stradivari. No, let's pull up. Uh, Shadavari, I guess is how it's pronounced. Uh, vintage keys. So this is uh, our uh, dinner four to two. So we got. <laughs> You know, just some ideas. Just haven't even scratched the surface of my collection, and I use it all the time, a lot, a, a good part of the time, with uh, creating my own ideas, which you can find on bongojohnstudio.com, as well as uh, you know bongojohn bongojohn.com. Well, then just go to Bongo's Music, and you can check it out. All right, everybody. Have a good rest of the day or night, wherever you may be in the world. Take care now.